In this video, we're going to talk about how to teach subtraction with borrowing. As you know, this could be very hard to teach and very hard to learn, but it doesn't have to be. It can actually be a very intuitive thing, and your student can have a really powerful moment of self-discovery. Alright, we're going to work on 24 minus 8 as an example of how to show you how to teach this thing in a way that doesn't just give it all away but actually lets the student discover it for himself or herself. All right, so the first step should just be building 24. So I would just say, all right, can you build 24 for me with blocks? And this is something that your student should already be pretty comfortable with. So 24 has four ones, so we take four ones blocks, or four singles, and it has two tens, so we take two blocks of 10. Now remember, these tens are awesome because they have and ones inside. The next thing I say is take away eight. That's all I say. And I just wait and I see what happens. This is what usually happens. Usually the student takes away the available ones until there are no more ones here and they're stuck. Some kids might know what to do next, but most students are now stuck. And this is the hardest part for you as the teacher you shouldn't jump in and just tell them what to do. You should let them struggle for a minute. You should let them think about it. If they don't figure out what to do and you want to help guide them, you want to give them a little prompting question, you should say something like, where can you find more ones? See if that works. If that doesn't work, you could say, remember when we were adding numbers and you ended up making a new block of 10? Where did that come from? Wait, if that doesn't work, I'll go a step further and I'd even tap. Tap here. Usually, that makes it all click for the student. Okay, if one of those options worked, here's what you'll see. They're going to take this, and they're going to triumphantly open it, and they're going to be able to take away four more ones until they've taken away eight. All right, now that they've taken away eight, all they need to do is count what they have left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six ones, set the digit. One, 10, set the digit. And now you can ask, in summary, what is 24 minus eight? And they'll tell you, 16. 